Oh! Oh! Holy moly, he's so strong. Oh, sure, this is perfect. G'day guys, welcome back. Now over the next few days, I'm in search of a world record mud crab. So far since we've been exploring here, we've found the biggest mud crabs I have ever seen. Whoa! But I reckon there's some bigger ones here. So over the next few days, I'm doing everything I can to find the biggest, baddest mud crab on this tropical island. And it could even be the biggest in the world. When searching for the current world record, I could only find badly photoshopped and unverified photos online. So I figured the best bloke to ask would be my mate, the Aussie Pirate, the local crabbing legend and reigning champion of the National Crab Tying Contest, all while sporting a real pirate's leg. He reckons many moons ago, his old man caught one 4.5 kilograms and the width of a 4X carton of beer which is the national standard measuring device for crabs here in Australia. This gives us something to aim for anyway. At the moment, we've got the lowest tides of the year. It's a great time to look for giant mud crabs that are normally hidden further afield. So it's pretty well bang on low tide at the moment, uh, which means now's the best chance to look. So I'm just going pretty quickly over all these flats here to see if there's any big ones that have been caught out by the tide and are stuck uh, high and dry or in little kind of puddles. Bit of a deeper hole here. Ooh, look at that. So this is all an area that I haven't been able to look before. because It's normally all underwater. Uh, but before that tide comes racing back in, we've got a little window of opportunity to have a look here. And there's a couple of logs here which look likely. Nope. This is an old coconut tree here sometimes. Oh, there's a little one. Unfortunately, I think this storm is really stuffing things up for us here because the tide is meant to be dropping. It's meant to be dead low now, but look, there's still so much water. So as the tide is trying to drop out, the wind is actually holding it in and like 30 centimeters of water is gonna make all the difference here. This is all meant to be high and dry at the moment. Pretty tough finding a crab when you can't even see your foot. Just spotted something over the other bank there that I'm going to go have a look at. But walking through this, I get a bit nervous because the crab I'm looking for, if I stood on it here, it could crush my ankle. Like they're a big, strong specimen. And I'm kind of just um, hoping for the best here trudging through here. So this is either a rock. Oh. It's either a rock or a turtle here. Let's have a closer look. It's a big old green turtle with a mossy back. He's, uh, he's just feeding in the seagrass there, so I'll leave him be. Such a shame, because this is the areas that I thought the big mud crabs would be, but it's just too much water at the moment. You can't even uh, barely see these turtles, let alone a mud crab on the bottom. We'll, uh, we'll keep pressing on, we'll see what we can find. Oi! <laughs> a mullet. There's a bit of, bloody hell, fish jumping everywhere here. Uh, the sharks come through and use that murky water to their advantage and hunt hunt the mullets through here. But there is a bit of a sense of urgency because when this tide comes in, I don't want to have to swim back. So I've got to get in and out before that tide comes in. This is what I spotted from the other bank, guys. Unfortunately, there's a, a dead turtle here that is very stinky. And the, the big mud crabs we're after, they're scavengers, so they would come uh, and, uh, and eat the remains of this turtle. So if there's a dead turtle around, good chance that a mud crab will be up sniffing around as well. Rain's not gonna help our cause, but just found a bit of a muddy bay here, uh, which we'll have a bit of a look in. You never know. No. Oh, bugger. Can't really see anything here, so I'm just sort of trudging through. Almost hoping to kick or step on one, but it's probably not the best approach for a mud crab, to be honest. But we'll see how it works out. Turtle that didn't make it through the tide. Mm. This is probably the first promising big mud crab hole I've found. I'm wondering whether I've made a bit of a mistake here. I've come too far deep into the soft stuff. 
and it's very slow going and that tide's on its way back in now. So I don't want to get caught here. I'm not having much luck. Oh, sure, this is perfect. The mud crab ever wanted. A home, bit of shelter, and a restaurant of a rotting turtle. I think I'm too late to that one. That would have been a perfect home where mud crab could have just eaten the rotted turtle and gorged himself all day. This looks likely, this looks very likely. A log in a big hole. Big mud crab would really let us know about it. He'd grab straight onto the end of the spear. What the hell is this thing? Knock knock. Anyone home? Spaceship. She looks like a little rocket. There's some bizarre things that have washed into this little bay. Right. Too shallow for you to puff up like that. It's too shallow, mate. There you go. It's all good. A couple of hours and a lot of kilometers since you've last seen me, but I just haven't really seen anything. I've had no luck, so I'm gonna hydrate with a couple of coconuts here and then keep going. The best nut on the planet, coconut. Entire oceans disappeared. This is all normally underwater. And now it just looks like some salt flats or something of the desert. It's quite crazy actually. The mud crabs seem to have disappeared with the water, unfortunately. Oh mate, you really didn't read the tide tables, mate. That puddle is gonna go high and dry. I'll pick you up. I'll take you somewhere deeper. I'll dig him a bit of a deeper hole. The tide has started to come in now, so I'll let that settle. And I'll move him from there into here. You're not a mud crab, mate. Have you seen the mud crabs? Oh, I'm absolutely cooking out here. Of course there's no damn mud crabs. They'd be, they'd be boiled. They'd be bright orange and ready to be eaten. I need to jump in and cool off. And I'm going to introduce you to one of my new favourite creatures that lives just down here. Let's go take a look, see if he's home. This is the hole of a spearing mantis shrimp. He's incredibly well camouflaged. If you look closely, you can just see his eyes peeking out. While his close relative boasts the fastest punch in the animal kingdom, he is sporting a different weapon. A spike so sharp that it can impale any fish that swims past before flipping them over and disappearing down into his dark hole. Something's been digging in here. This looks dangerous. Any one of these could have a giant ankle biting mud crab in them. I'm just tapping around to see if there's any big one that stick their, sticks his claws up. Or there could be none. There's a little crab here that's lost his claw. Who did that to you, mate? Where's that big bully? I'll sort him out. Oh, no way. Guys, I've been searching for hours and hours and hours. I think I've spotted the tiniest little thing which might be a hidden mud crab. Can you see what I see? I don't know what size it is or whether it's even a mud crab, to be honest, but I'm gonna set this up. Oh! Oh! oh 
my gosh! God, that is a huge, that is a giant mud crab. Holy moly. Oh, holy shit. This is, this is like, holy moly. Look at the size of this thing. I'm gonna come around the back side of him here. Holy shit. Guys, this is. Oh, holy moly, he's grabbed the spear. This is a giant, giant crab. Let go of that spear, mate. Oh, holy moly. This thing would crush my wrist. Holy shit. Holy moly, look at the size of this thing. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm pumping on adrenaline at the moment because this is a giant, giant buck mo crab. Oh, no, the camera's about to go in the water. Oh, I've got to drop something here. Uh-oh. Um, uh -oh. All right. I'm gonna get to the beach without dropping this camera. All right. Let's go over here, mate. Holy moly, he's so strong. I gotta watch my steps, something else doesn't grab a hold of me. Gotta get him up on dry land here. Oh. Oh. Alright, trying not to get bitten. Here it goes. I'm shaking, man. I need to catch my breath for a sec. Alright, chill, mate, chill. Chill. What a crazy, crazy animal. The second highest level of testosterone in the animal kingdom. So they are ready to rumble at all times. And man, it was so lucky that I didn't just put my foot straight over that hole because he would crush my ankle. Whole point of today was to see whether we could find a world record mud crab. And I reckon this one is the biggest I have ever seen. Uh, I'm going to need to get a carapace uh, length measurement on him and I want to get a weight on him as well. Back to base camp, we've got miles to go. So I'm going to try to put him in my shirt, which is nice and cool and wet. And um, I don't know if it's the best idea, but oh, maybe not. Hopefully it can act like a bit of a sack to get him, get him back there. Come on, mate, you'll be right. Generally, if they get something over their eyes, they'll stay calm, but we'll, um, we'll see how this goes. Here we go. Perfect. Geez, these back to basics shirts are good. All available on our website if you want a, a stylish, practical shirt or a crab carrier, a crab sack. I'm nervous now, I've got to watch my ankles through here. Oh, wouldn't that be a turn of fate if one just nailed me on the ankle? Look at that tide coming in. It's racing in. So I've kept this shirt nice and wet so this mud crab's still nice and alive. Just how hard and how far I looked today and I only found this one big mud crab. Either they're very good at hiding or there's not many big ones around. So with that being said, I'm gonna take some quick measurements and I'm actually gonna let this big mud crab go. It's his lucky day. Maybe it's my lucky day for finding him. Of course, these B2B bags are all available on our website, b2badventures.com.au. They sort of go into a bit of a sleep state when their eyes are covered. 24 centimeters across the carapace. It's his lucky day, let's let him go. Off you go, big boy, go and make some babies. There he goes. I'm gonna get some last footage of him. That is awesome. What an amazing specimen. And it's great to know there's still giants roaming around in certain places. But for me, it's not all about like the world record or bragging rights or anything like that. It's just about getting out there. You never know what you're gonna find. So cheers guys, hope you enjoyed the episode.